Hundreds of civil society organizations took to the streets in Lagos on Wednesday to protest the continued disrespect for the rule of law and undue harassment of a citizen of Nigeria by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Addressing a press conference shortly before staging a protest rally in Lagos, the movement led by the chairman of the Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kako, Debo Ademiro, alleged that the EFCC Belo saga appeared like a case of selective hatred targeted at an individual for no concrete cause. The activists condemned the fact that the EFCC chairman failed to provide any documentary evidence of an official invitation sent to former governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello, yet the commission declared him wanted. Up in time, permit me to say that we do not support corruption in any way. We fight it. We do not say that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, should not investigate, arrest, and prosecute those who have been proven to have corruptly enriched themselves or committed all sorts of economic crimes. We only insist that it must be done, that is, if the EFCC had to perform its responsibilities. It must be done according to the rule of law, among which is obedience of lawful court orders. So we are saying there is a law that established yes, as an agency, established through an enshrinement in the constitution of Nigeria, Nigeria, which must be respected. The current chairman of ESCC should not go contrary to the rule of law and to the separation of powers. I heard him severely saying that he's going to deploy the military to arrest an individual is an operation. And we're not going to allow that. I also heard him recently saying that he will personally investigate this case. Oh, so he's telling us that other cases that were investigated by his lieutenants were not properly investigated. The ESC chairman is also going to the gallery now. Because we will see that yesterday, like he said, we all don't have addressed the media. Because from what we saw yesterday, or what we are saying now, he has exposed the nitty-gritty of the matter, which will also energize the defense team to prepare a very solid case. Two, Mr. Oluko Ebe is not the ESC for God's sake. He's not his personal fear of or personal estate. It is a creation of the law. So, and there are processes, there are officers assigned to cases. 